Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you and good night. <laughs> There's really no punchline on that. Uh, I'll make up a joke next time for you. Um, I'm Bo Billingsley. Um, well, it's easy for me because I haven't done as quite as much as these two guys have. But uh, uh, Jet Black is obviously a character that um, I enjoy doing, and uh, he's he's my favorite guy. Easy easy answer. And for me, it's hard because they're all like my children, you know. So I, if I choose one, then you know, I, I feel like I'm. Everyone has a favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell. But the diplomatic ones don't admit it. Uh, Spike, of course, is one of my very favorites. <laughs> love, love doing Spike. And right now, it's it's for me, it's it's whatever character I'm playing at the moment. Right now, I'm I've been working on uh, Grun Lagan, doing uh, the voice of Liron and. Complete change for me. So I don't know if you've seen the show yet, but it instead of the, the usual uh, real heavy kind of stuff that I do, he runs more like this. And takes, you know, Orochimaru? Well he, think of Orochimaru light. That's what they want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's it's whoever I'm playing at the moment. Who's next? Oh, Harvey Birdman was, that was a really lucky thing for me. I've been playing around with Yaki Doodle's voice since I was a little kid. And uh, I got to audition for it like everybody else did, and they picked me. And it was just one of those really lucky events that, you know, this is one of my characters that, that I, I grew up watching. And, uh, you know, so to actually get in there and... I mean, that was... It was, it was like a, a little kid's dream. It was really fun. But I uh, auditioned, like everybody else. What was it like when you first got into the business versus what it's like now that you all are like big name actors? Um, for me, it was, uh, it was a nice change. I went from, you know, Power Rangers to uh, doing Vash. And um, the story was, you know, I mean, there's more story and more acting. Power Rangers was like, we're running around, it's Morphin Time, right! You know, and, uh, and it was like super cheesy, you know, to something that had, you know, a story. It was, uh, was kind of nice. And, um, but it was, it was still kind of weird for me too, because I, I mean, I was 18, or 19, I think, when I started doing, uh, uh, and actually no, it was later than that, 20 something. Um, <laughs> but but uh, it's all a blur. Um, <clears throat> But it's, it's kind of like, that was the, fir the first thing I did was, was bash. And, and, you know, it's like when uh, you do your voicemail thing, you know? Like when you hear it like the first time, it's like, dude, I sound so weird. That doesn't sound right, you know? And so that's what it felt like at first, you know? And, and, I, and I was like, I still had a little bit of a Texas accent, you know? And uh, they, they kept correcting me too, you know? So I wouldn't have too much of it in there. But I can hear it when I watch the show, which I guess it kind of works a little bit. It wasn't like obvious, but it was, you know, it was there. So it was kind of weird hearing myself, is my point that, you know, I'm trying to get to. All this rambling. I ramble a lot, in case you haven't noticed. So. <laughs> um, the biggest difference now from when I started is uh, more work. <laughs> you know, when you're first starting out, you're, you're scrambling around and trying to get known and, and trying, to get, trying to get work. Um, I started off uh, my voice career uh, dubbing foreign films, uh, live-action foreign films. And uh, whenever there was an African, they would call me. I was a, I was a resident African actor. I don't know. I could, I've never been able to figure that out. <laughs> but um, I called my mom and I said, uh, And then she said, And as I realized that, I have African roots, so what the hell? I will do these African characters, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I've done people of uh, characters of all colors. I, you probably don't remember. I did a little green guy on Digimon called Ogremon. Um, but uh, the, the big difference now, I've, I've developed a certain reputation, and so that there's more of a pigeonhole for me in my voice now. Like I know Steve uh, has a lot of variation in, 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 in what he do, but if they want somebody to 
to growl and you know, do that stuff, then you know, they'll call me. And, but most of my time is taken up doing, uh, doing on camera. Um, and uh, so, like that. Yeah, for me, I, I started from a background without any training at all and, and just kind of learned on the job. And so, the biggest change for me is really learning the craft. And I started out uh, ripping limbs off of monsters in a show called The Guyver years ago. And uh, I had no idea what we were doing. None of us did. And I had no idea that you could actually make money doing that. It was, it was crazy. And for many, many years, I didn't make a lot of money at it at all. And I could not believe that I could ever create a career out of that. And it just sort of, I just kept doing it on the side for fun. And then one day I realized that I hated my job. I hated everything that I was doing and that I might take a stab at doing it for real. And it worked out. I got a commercial campaign that supported, anime doesn't support a career in voiceover really, but commercial, I started booking commercials and uh, some foreign dubbing also and some TV shows and things. And so now it's, I, I actually kind of feel like I know what I'm doing. I guess that would be the biggest difference. <laughs> Not everything. Steve is, Steve is a wonderful actor and he really does know what he's doing and he has a lot of, he has a lot of flexibility in his voice and you probably don't know that. I think you were the voice of, uh, what was it, 7-Eleven? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Uh, what was that? What else was I supposed to say? <laughs> okay, okay, that's all for me for right now. <laughs> yes. Do you, do you do not, do you not have a favorite other voice actor you work with? <laughs> that would be these guys here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, John. For me, it's 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 Johnny and Steve. I'm serious. These guys are great. I They're would have to say terrific. Bo and Johnny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're actually a really close-knit community. Um, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we don't want to hurt each other's feelings. But, you know, uh, but unlike a lot of other areas in entertainment, the voice acting community is a pretty friendly one. And it's not like we're killing each other to get the roles. If, if I'm not right for something, I'll refer one of my buddies for it. And that doesn't necessarily happen in the on-camera world. Oh, not at all yeah. in the on-camera yeah. world. Yeah, I mean, people will cut, cut their best friend's head off for a role, you know, so. So we, we've got a lot of friends. It's a big community and we really support each other. And if one person's down, we'll try to lift them up again. So, that's cool. Yeah, we have a lot of networking going on. And uh, there's a lot of interaction, emails, telephone calls and that. And it's, it's a pretty neat community to be involved in, you know. I mean, if somebody has some difficulties, we get together, we help them out. Um, it's it's very special. It's a very special world we live in out there. And by the way, I need a loan bow, so okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it up with the boys. No, I'll tell you what they're gonna do. What's your favorite line that you've ever had to record? Well, that's a, if you can remember. A for me, it's a new one. Also on the show, Guren Lagan. I, I don't know if you've seen Guren Lagan. This character, Liron, says, um, they're talking about a drill. These guys use drills to, to drill through from one world to another world. And uh, so in that context, because it's a family kind of event here, he <laughs> says, uh, when you screw it in, make sure to give it a hard manly twist. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't get to say that with most of my characters, so that, that's memorable for me. I think that's my favorite line, too. Yeah, that's, that's mine, too. I think, yeah, I get, you can't top that one. Chicks dig giant robots. You get all the great lines. What's that? You know? I guess maybe mine might be, if I, if I have just one um, from, from the show, um, we were, when we were stuck on the, the island, we were eating the mushrooms, oh, remember? Shit, shit talky on ice, you know. Shit talky mushrooms on ice, that's very special. 